Hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining me for another One Man Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Anthology Stray Lines. This is issue number three. I wasn't able to get the other two issues, and I don't know if there's any ones past issue three. This was published by Cardboard Press in 2017, so I'm not sure, but it's a collection of uh, comics from Ireland. Uh, Irish comic artist, so I was really excited to grab that. I ordered this while I was ordering two books from another artist who will get her own video. Um, but I, I just really like these anthologies that show different countries and different scenes and stuff. Getting the broadest perspective of comics possible is really cool. And so I just wanted to go through and uh, just show like one or two pages from each artist. This is a story called Folly by Alan Dune. A lot of these almost seemed, I, I wish I had the other two issues because some of them seem like either short stories where you're just jumping in on a like real slice of life like like mid story or maybe these are continuations from previous issues but there's nothing on here that says folly part three you know uh so like this one just really like jumping in on a couple characters like talking as they go somewhere and then you kind of just dip out but the art's really interesting it looks like pencil pencil work with um, some kind of ink wash, maybe to get a second layer, and then that's a, has digital colors applied to it, or painting with brushes that have textures. I'm not sure. It's a really interesting look, uh, but the story was a bit strange, and I feel like that was a lot of these stories. Is I, I felt like they had more in front of them and more behind them, but they all seem like they're be, being presented as one offs. This is Ale Mercado's work. Really, really love this page. Love the composition. Love the kind of Eddie Campbell vibes going on in this. The static. Also some kind of like Bill Sienkiewicz vibes to me in terms of the flatness of some of the shapes and the composition in there. Um, and th this was a pretty imp impactful story. Uh, you know, where some like here, the master of the house has died and um, the servants left over and people are trying to get get some like clothes and things like that trying to get their due property so a good little story uh, but really like the art in this one this is a story called two crows by neil breen uh, this one's definitely strange and surreal and pretty self-contained the the guy has like this strange vision of these birds getting bigger to him uh, it all looks like it's done with with pencil on this one uh, so an interesting one not as good of art as the other ones Philip Barrett here. This is a really good story about a soccer team and just this guy's history being on the soccer team, the history of the field that they play on, the history of the town with like the people that are up on the hill versus the people that are down in the town. So this is a very complete story, well-written characters, and I think really nice cartooning. You can see really good compositions throughout. So Philip Barrett's definitely someone I'm interested in seeing more work from. It feels like someone who could do um, either a collection of really nice short stories or a longer form work that really delves into like slice of life down to earth stuff uh, with really effective cartooning. This story here by Gar Shanley and Felipe Makez, I believe is how the names are pronounced, was a really interesting story. It's about how ghosts like dress up once a year and have a fancy dress party and how they're entertaining each other. I, I thought it was like a thoughtful little piece, almost poetic in the writing. And then the cartooning in it's really interesting. Very, very simple drawings, almost childlike in some places, and then pretty sophisticated cartooning in others. But then there's all of like this um, splattered, dragged, like almost look like a dry, dry brush mixed with razor blade ink application throughout that gives it a lot of energy and vibes. So I really like this one, uh, but I, it's, yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious to see this artist work in another context. And I, I hadn't figured out yet who was the artist and who was the writer on this one, but I really like that. Here you have Ken Mahone. This is definitely like a bit of sci-fi that's talking about AI taking over and uh, man attempts to colonize the galaxy and all of this kind of stuff. So well drawn, interesting, but like the, the interesting looking, but the content's not it's so interesting to me. And then this I found to be very, very beautiful. This is by Patty Lynch and really love the combination of like the pencil or crayon with the dry brush having all of these things piled up with two different layers here. 
Uh, this is also like a kind of strange, surreal thing where someone's talking about as they started to fall asleep, they would find a vague vibration at the edge of consciousness, um, small incessant awareness gradually intruding on my sleep and dreams. And I, I really also like this artist will kind of move between like more or less detail and more or less abstraction really really drawn to the more abstract stuff and honestly i think the artist is probably hitting their peak at this right here where there's just enough information to make it out but it remains like these beautiful marks and beautiful composition here's like some really nice sparse cartooning and then it, when it starts to get more realistic it feels a bit cluttered to me and the artist will move in and out of those kind of as they need to for the story I'd be really interested, again, to see this artist working more in the pulled back mode. Um, this kind of seems like an unnecessary pile up relative to some of this other stuff. But that switch in approach and switch in realism really does play into the story. So I think that works very well. But with the spot colors and the, the dry brush and the pencil marks and all of that, there's a lot of directness and beauty in the art and the composition in these ones. So Patty Lynch is someone I'm really, really interested in. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking to see if I can find more of these anthologies, these stray line anthologies, because it's a, a cool collection of people. I don't know if there's frequent contributors to this or if each issue is totally new, but there was enough good stuff in this for me to like follow up on, find artists on Instagram and stuff, to see what else they're doing. Um, that I would love to see other issues of this. So if anyone else has seen this and you know how many there are and that kind of thing, I'd love to know. Make sure to like, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell.